I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi, and today we're joined by my sister Sol. <laughs> Hello. And as you can guess by the title of this video, we are filming a Persian tag. So Sol doesn't know any of the questions, but it's basically to test how irony you are. <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought it would be fun to do something a bit like more light-hearted and just have a bit of fun with it. Obviously, don't take this too seriously. The questions, like I said, are just for fun. Um, but if you're Iranian and you want to put yourself to the test, you can answer these questions along with us. Sol doesn't know any of the questions. So this is gonna be quite fun. Um, I don't even know what it is. What is a Persian tag? So like, I'm basically gonna ask you a bunch of questions. I'll answer them too, of like Iranian related stuff, and we'll see how Iranian you are. My so, answer to everything is China. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a very good answer to everything. But the first thing that's really obvious is what's your name? Solmas. Yeah, but everyone calls you? Sol. Yeah, so my name is Sepi Dare, but everyone calls me Sepi. So if you guys are Iranian, let us know what your name is versus your nickname. Are you a Fatima that's now Fati? Fasha that's Feri. Yeah, are you a Fasha that's a Feri or a Fersha that's a Feri? Like, tell us, like, are you a Anahita that's now an Anna? You know, tell us, like, what your name is versus your nickname. Um, because we know that Iranian names, once they pass two syllables, for some reason become really hard to pronounce. Even Sol and Sina, like, everyone knows, like, Solmaz and Sina, like, they can pronounce that easy, but Sepi there, there's no pronouncing that. So, um, I'm gonna go through with the questions. First can one. Can I look? Like, can I look over your... You can, you can look over my shoulder, okay. it's not like a surprise. But first question is, where were you born? Me? Oh, Iran. <laughs> <laughs> no, the next no, I don't know why, I was expecting the audience to kind of go like, <laughs> Where were you born? Iran. So where in Iran? Mashhad. Do you know the name of the hospital? Yeah, uh, uh, I was going to say this, <laughs> Duran. <laughs> Um, so you Pars Hospital. And where do you live now? In Sheffield, but technically London. Yeah. So London, technically Sheffield. And how old were you when you moved here? The UK, nine. So I was born in London, and I've lived here all of my life. So that was that first question. Second question: Do you drive a Mercedes or a BMW? <laughs> BMW. <laughs> <laughs> um, not stereotype at all. I drive a Range Rover, but my first car was a BMW. <laughs> mine is not white. Yeah, mine was a white BMW, <laughs> so I just feel like there's like typical and then very typical, and that was me, like very, very typical. <laughs> Third question What song did your parents always play when you were in the car when you were growing up? Mansoor Betan Divune Divune. I remember that one. And should I play it? Do it. What else do you remember? Uh, anything Moin, because <laughs> I was in the 90s, even though I was born in the 80s, in the 90s, late 80s, everyone liked Moin. Okay, this is the first Mansour song she said. <laughs> Sol's showing off some skills there, the Bishkan. Mm. Can you Bishkan, yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For you, that was the song you always heard. For me, growing up in the car, like with my with my parents or with my cousins, it was a lot of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this song literally reminds me of my Angle Fairy yeah. I like Benjamin. Benjamin is a So Benjamin is that Benjamin. Yeah, Benjamin is how. Benjamin, you, so you're Ben. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, that's the Iranian pronunciation. Benjamin or again Ben. <laughs> so, next Persian related question Have you ever dyed your hair beach blonde? <laughs> Every Persian girl goes through a phase in her life of dyeing her hair beach blonde. I've not done it. I've never dyed my hair. I went ginger. <laughs> Initially, Sol, Sol literally right before I switched on the camera was looking at old photos of herself where she had jet black hair. And she's like, oh, I might go back to jet black because you've been blonde for like seven, eight years, no? Seven years. 
Sina was blonde when she was 19 and then again like a few years ago she was blonde um, if you like scroll down on her Instagram you'll see but I've never had that phase yet like, God, I'm actually quite rubbish at this I've not I like pouting I've not done uh, I've not done very well that's pretty good though that you've not dyed your hair no I'm just saying I'm doing bad in the tag how many of these have I got yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah you weren't born I wasn't before. born in a right exactly okay next question <laughs> Yeah. Are you a doctor, lawyer, or engineer? <laughs> Technically, <laughs> I'm a doctor of dental surgery. I've got a DDS for crying out loud. I worked hard for it. Yeah. Doctor of dental surgery, thank you very much. Not typical at all. We weren't expecting it, no way. Um, I am a doctor, um, medical doctor. So I'm just a junior, junior medical doctor. Sina's also a medical doctor. doctor. Lady doctor. So, so my parents actually have three kids who are doctors, all their kids are doctors. So you can imagine what phone calls are like to like fam. سپیدم که دیگه فارغ و تحصیل شد سال دیگه هم ساینه این شده سه تا دکتر بله they do they do but like it's all light hearted banter it's all light hearted okay next question do you try and convince others that celebrities you guys know are also Persian. Freddie, Freddie Mercury, Freddie Mercury. My dad always tries to say Freddie Mercury is Iranian. Yeah, it was Iranian. Yeah, it was like Iranian. Queen. Yeah. Um, Sorry, everyone went through that phase in like 2009 of like Kim Kardashian. Kimiyoy Kardashian. Britney Spears, two spesarish Iranian. Next. Do you drink more chai or more water? <laughs> chai. <laughs> yeah, I think we drink I more chai. Oh, I love tea. Do you have a samovar in your house? And uh, not in Sheffield, but in London, we've got a few. Yes, we have Having a samovar in our house. We have a gazi, is... like the one that goes on the gas. We've got an electric one. We've got a charcoal one. We've got a couple of antique we ones. Antique ones. We've got the one that belonged to my mum's grandma. We've got the one that belonged to my dad's grandma. Like literally, so we have a few. We have enough to like give the whole neighbourhood chai. Question number eight: Ooh. What is your favourite Persian dish? Oh, John. I like kalapache, I like cello kebab, I like fish and june, I like borma sabzi. I'm not really a fan of game. But your favourite, like you have to have one for the rest of your life. Cello kebab and maxus. And by maxus, I mean one sikh kubide, one sikh bag. Yeah, some I people like, call that sultani. Okay, but I call it maxus. Yeah, we call it maxus. And I like a egg yolk. I know this is like everyone's going, oh, salmonella. But I like an egg yolk on my rice. Yeah. Raw egg yolk on my rice. Mix it. Mm. I went through a phase where that was all I ate, like raw Oof. egg yolk on rice. Which, by the way... We do not recommend. We don't recommend. It gives no. you salmonella. What's yours? Oh, yeah. So my favourite Persian dish... I love juja kebab a bit and also horn with zedesh pula on the side. That's my favourite. And I love when the zedesh pula has badum in it. Uh -huh. Like that's just the one. Oh, I'm pissed in. My favourite is in, in London, I love the Zedesh Polo of Lavash restaurant. Mm -hmm. I really like I really like their Zedesh Polo. I don't know why. I like Bakali Polo, I like Albalu Polo, I like Adas Polo, but Khorma. <laughs> I, like, I don't like Kishmish Polo. So let's go through the controversial foods and see how you feel about them. Okay. Kalapacha, yes or no? Yes. Yes, I love Kalapacha. I love the Chesh. Khorishta Kalafs, yes or no? Yeah, why not? I know no. loads of people are like, nah, no. Karafsia is like the ugly cousin of Gorma Sabzi. It is. It's just a waste. No. If you're gonna go through it's all not. that zahmat, then you might as well have made the Gorma. Why am I holding up two fingers like I'm swearing the whole time? Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, no, Karafs is not the one for me. It's just a waste of resources and like energy. It. So, third controversial dish Halim. Halim. Halim, yes or no? Yeah, I like Halim, but I don't like it with turkey. Okay, and fourth controversial, which some Iranians might not have even like even considered trying this, but we really again don't recommend it. But my dad like is such a shekamu and like he eats everything and made us try everything as children, but really don't recommend I it. I know what you're talking it about. It's raw liver. Yeah. Raw lamb liver. Fifth dombalon. I don't like dombalon. Wait, how do you feel about raw lamb liver? I like it. Yeah, Pinch of like salt, it. it has to be fresh. But again, don't recommend it. <laughs> Number five. 
Um, Dumb ballon. Dumb ballon, which is basically lamb testicles. Um, they have it like cut up and barbecue it. I really don't like I it. I love it. And six lamb brain. <sighs> Max. Yeah. Sandwich I hate Max. Max. Oh my I god. Hate Max. Seven. Ooh. Zabun. Oof. I, I like Zabun, but I just sometimes it cringes me out. I'm a bit sometimes like hesitant towards it. Sandwich Zabun, but you can't tahini, khiar shur, so se garlic, go. So se garlic. Garlic is my So se sir, but go. If I do rap is my gun. Okay, that's enough about knowing how shik hamu we are. Next question. Who's your favorite Persian singer? Mahasti. Really? Yeah, I love Mahasti. Okay, mine is because I grew up with his music. Fashion, I mean, Ar no, Arash. No. No, Afshin. This guy has been around since I was about nine, and he's still killing it to this day. Sassi Monken. Yes, it has to be Sassi I love Monken. Sassi, actually. Sassi, I really like it. I preferred it when his name was Sassi Monken. I don't know why he got rid of the Monken. Like, I like Sassi Monken. Yeah, I love Sassi. I love his music. <laughs> Wait. To mehmuni, to la bolan koran ya khodet already un vahsati. No, I'm old school. Like you have to ask me a couple of times. Otherwise, I get shy. I won't get up on my own. Yeah, I have to be asked like once or twice. No, I can't yeah. be asked once. But once, once you ask, I'm like, there's no way you're getting my ass back down on the seat. Like it's not yeah. happening. I'll dance so much. Gyan man, I need to open the panjere. You know, yeah. you know that one where in the mehmuni everyone's dancing so much. Like I show you, there's a odor on the dance floor and then you gotta open up the windows and like do care the hand job every uni party I went to <laughs> no I have to be asked a few times and even when I sit down after that song I still have to be asked for next song so I just get shy for those sort of stuff so does that mean that you tart off Oh, really? Really? Um, I tart off definitely. I tart off even with like my English friends or like whatever, like from as in I mean my friends in England, like not Iranian friends. I tart off with my yeah. I don't, I, they don't understand the concept. Like I'd be like, no, you eat my half of the sandwich, and then they pick it up at lunch and then we are bitter. We are any cheese that we go and cook that shit. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Next question, do your parents still force you to go to Mehmunis with them? I think this is Bearing in mind, Sol's 37. Okay, so I'm 24. It's got a little age thing going with it. When you're a teenager, you really refuse to go. And maybe even for some early 20s, 21, 22. But after it, you're quite eager to go because you meet, like, you want to see your friends, you want to see their friends, their friends become your friends, you know, so it's nice. Yeah, I think Sol's right. There's, like, an age where, like, you don't want to go and, like, then you kind of skip yeah. to the point where, like, you actually miss them and it becomes, like, family. Obviously, unless it's, we're not talking about family, we're talking about with their friends. Yeah. Do you want to go see their friends? I like my parents' as friends. Yeah. I think I, I do, I, a lot. I think my parents' friends are nice. I think it's easier for me to go, like, to be convinced to go if they have children my age. Um, otherwise, it's a bit more like I need more convincing to go. Next question. Do you go back to Iran? I do. I love going to Iran. I love, 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 love going to Iran. Um, I love going to Mashhad. Oh, my God. I love going to Sajjad and having Bastani Balut with, like, cream. Going back to food. And <laughs> <laughs> um, I love going to Iran. So do I. If you guys, this is your first time coming on my channel, I actually have loads of vlogs of me in Iran. I absolutely love it. Next question Does your mum still check up on you to make sure you got home okay? <laughs> uh, so and ask you when you're coming home. Bad. Yeah, I'm 24 and like literally, I'll be sitting out with my friends and it's like 11 30 and my mum will call me and she'll be like, or like literally it'll be like two o'clock in the morning yeah and bearing in mind in london clubbing like clubs you usually go from like 
12.31 until about 3.30, yeah. So at 2 a.m. she'll call me, I'm in the club, I have to like go outside of the club to be able to hear her. And I'm like, hello, like is everything okay? She's like, آره منو بابات اومدیم از مروش شاورما بگیریم میخوام بزنیم اگه میخوای برد داریم الان I'm like no نمیخوام منو قرار داریم I don't need someone to pick me up from the club at 2 literally or like 1.30 like literally right when the party is going to start they always think that like now is the time because they've just gone for shawarma or like gone to like have like dinner or whatever at the four seasons they always go and it's just yeah I don't need you to call me but they always call me always I think sometimes they linger about so that they could come and pick you up. Yeah. Because I call them Chikam Koni. Yeah, they definitely linger. Um, but oh well, it's it is cute. It is. Like, I'd rather that they care than they don't care. But like, it can be a bit much. Like when you're out with your friends and your friends are like, is, is that your mum? You know, I live by myself, like I have my own life. Yeah, I live by myself. <laughs> I have my own life and I still get it. Yeah. And I like it. <laughs> I think we finished all the questions. Oh yeah, one last question. This is the last question. How many Persian carpets are in your house? <laughs> I don't know. Too many to count. Literally, we couldn't count, but that is definitely um, I a love do, for the, for, do you like Persian carpets? I do, but I think the passions come from my dad. So, like, generation upon generation, my dad's side of the family have been, like, rug merchants. So, like, my grandpa had, like, his own rug place, whatever. So, my dad, like, grew up, like, loving it. Like, he flips... Like, you, everyone looks at the front of the carpet. My dad flips it over to look at, like, the fibres and, like, maybe uh, how it's stitched together at the ends and etc. Like, he's just really, really into it. So, I like that he's into it and I like the patterns of some of them. I hate, like, the really bold ones. Like, we have some in our house that are, like, red. And I'm like, why do you need a red Persian carpet? I like all these Dahati stuff. <laughs> you just got it Dahati! Yeah, but it's not. No, I like like we have some that like the, the ones downstairs like like creamy color scheme. I like that one, but um, I like all. Yeah, I like all. And I think it's very Sophie. Persian to have a Persian rug, even if you're not from Iran. Persian rugs are really really famous. There's a song called Persian rugs. Sorry, going back to your tea question, do you drink Persian tea? Do you dip? You, like if you were to ever have Why is gand, it with you and food in this video? Know, know. <laughs> but if you were to ever have gand, do you dip your gand in the chai and then put it in your mouth? Or do you pour your chai onto the fender and then drink it from the fender? I did that all the time when I was like five. I really thought do you I was put a cool. gand in your fin in your I put my not fender narbiki narbiki. Sorry, that's what narbiki, I narbiki and then pour it and then. Well, I don't do that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't go out and drink from. The <laughs> only thing I don't like with that is that once you put the teacup on the carpet, pours like carpet, then you chase people. Stop! Stop! So I don't like that. So I'm just like. <laughs> and also, like obviously now, I don't drink. Like I don't like and or now. Yeah, we don't. Put, like, so it gets to a phase where like. You know, you outgrow that. Like you're too, you're too mature in the chai world to have sugar to dampen the taste of the chai. It's a bit like people who drink wine, and like you start off drinking like a cheap, crappy wine, and then after a while, like you know, your your taste is too acquired to have just like crappy wine. Like that's what. Do you know what I can do now? What I can taste. Shall I say in far? I'll say in Farsi, and then I'll translate. اگه چایی تازه دمه با چایی قدیمی عشان من مزهش رو میفهمم That is crazy Basically I can see if uh, tea has been freshly brewed or if it's an old tea Yeah, that is actually mad I, I, I'm not that skilled skills. I'm not that skilled <laughs> Me and Saul aren't like this, yeah But Sina really does, really does believe that chai nabot is the cure to everything Yeah, she really does She Before really that. does yeah. But Sina really believes in the art of chai nabot <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all the time Whenever she gets a tummy ache, she wants chai nabot for me, not so much. I'm just sitting there thinking like, I'm just having sugar water. Like, what is that yeah, doing to my too. skin? I'm gonna no. get fat, like. I just imagine like carries in my teeth. I'm like, oh, that's gonna be my mommy puts a hat up, me shit, what Yeah, I don't like, I don't like, I, I like the taste, but I don't drink China. But um. Sina really believes it's a cure. One last thing I wanna say is, is there any other like Persian influences that you like? Persian influencers, like... <laughs> I know who you like, Persian influencers. Who? You love Lily Galici. 
I love Lily Galici and I really, really like Leila Melani. I think she's yeah. such a lady. Like, I really like her. I think she's a good wife. She's a good mother. I really like her. She's my number one. Then I really like Lily Galici. I think she's fantastic. So you had a mind like that, didn't you? Yeah. I like man. The ladies. Like, they're like, very elegant, nice. Yeah. I like them. Yeah. I like everything they stand for. Yeah, I I like the same too. I like uh, Lily Galici. I like Leila Milani. I like, um, there's a guy on Instagram uh, called Puri Oh my God, he's so, so funny. funny. Um, we like love him. Well, we love him. Um, Jamishko. Jamishko. I thought my nurses had to say Jamishko. <laughs> yeah, Jamishko is the lion. And um, when I was in Mykonos, I met some American uh, Iranians and they taught me to say it. Baba Kia. He's like, who's your daddy? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> that was my fave. Anyway, I feel like this has been a long enough Persian tag. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. And press the bell so you get notifications every time I post a video. Don't forget to follow Sol on Instagram, Dr. Sol Sam. Follow me on Instagram, Persian Bunny. And chat to us in the comments. We love reading your comments and replying to them. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.